Hi again, everybody. It's me again, Funk Doc, with another four-player game on USA immediately after a previous one with the amazing 25 drop out of nowhere. Let's see if this one is more interesting. Good luck to everybody, and have fun. So... This config's a lot cheap. It's uh, cheaper than the last one by a little bit. Instead of uh, Northwest, we got the Mid-South, which is a bit cheaper region. I'll bid seven for the fours. Let someone else take it for eight. Tail Cop will take it for eight, as expected. See if anyone goes nine on it. This map is a little trickier to build last on. I do like the three plant here because I can build a Washington DC. That's where I would go with the three, I think. The cheaper connection costs make it not too hard to break out of there in step two. If you have to jump a little bit, that's okay. Mastaba comes out right away with a bit of four for the three plant. Good move. Because I was ready to bid for that if he didn't do that. Don't quite want to pay five for it, though. And now I'll get to bid for the five, which I definitely want here. Because, well... Hmm. I'll try the eight. Because if I take the eight... Thunder Rift might buy the 9, maybe. And 14 dropping, okay, Thunder Rift takes the 5, which is correct. Sometimes in that spot where I buy the 8 and then you have the 5 and the 9 left, some players will take the 9 there. But I think that's a mistake because you'd rather build earlier and also punish Cole more. Make life a little more painful for the player with the 8. That's why you want to take the 5 in that situation. Better turn order and more of a control on the player with 8. 11 and 14 being in the market, though, that's very, very strong for my uh, my plant 8 there. I can safely put the 10 up for bid next turn. I'm not going to get stuck with it because there are other players who badly need that plant. Ten's gonna go for good money on the next turn here because once again we have eleven. In, we'll have eleven in the market on turn two, just blocking everything. Want to pay for that twelve dollar uranium there? Be my guest. Yep, tail cop gets the. See Pittsburgh or Washington D.C. See, I usually tend to go for Washington to be safer because less experienced players will sometimes build behind you in these cheap cities if you build Pittsburgh. I've had bad experiences with that, including in a real life tournament. So I just tend to build watch. I just, I just tend to build a DC anymore if I'm going to start in the East coast. These are all the obvious builds, by the way, very obvious single builds. I do think Thunder Rift made a mistake not building two, which means I will definitely be content to go for Kansas city and St. Louis. Obvious build for me here. Gives me connections to some, but you know, I can get a few cities in the middle of the map. I can threaten Santa Fe if need be. I could have bought an extra coal, actually, but that would have been risky. I'll try to force Mastaba a little bit further east. That's part of what I'm hoping for with that build. I'll put ten for bid now, sure. I'm not. They're not going to let me have this for for cost. Not with eleven and fourteen there in the market, baby. See, there we go. I just want other people to bid on it, and I'll let it go now.
Yep. Now I... Hmm. I pass, like, I briefly considered going for the 9, but, yeah. Thunder Rift might buy the 9 and give Tail Cop the 13, although Tail Cop seems really averse to the 13 this early. I don't know why. I have to imagine he'll buy 13. Yeah, he'll buy 13 now. It makes sense. Sure. Twenty five up next in the futures market. Jeez. Oh, that's rearing its ugly head again. Twenty nine going under the deck. Um, that's kind of a big deal. Twenty nine tends to come sometimes a bit too late for a four capacity plant to be useful. But you know, there's plenty of games where it still comes out early, and it's a big deal. Twenty five here, though. All right. Well. Nice thing in this spot is everybody else has a higher numbered plant than me. So it means I can go to the bottom of the turn order next turn and the turn after that because I'm not going to buy a plant next turn either. Not with this crap. Like, I could maybe consider the six, but I mean, if, I, if everybody else passed on plants and then I pass, the six would just disappear anyway. So... Mm. Another option I didn't mention with the Kansas City-St. Louis build is if Mastaba gets focused on going east, I can threaten to jump into Minneapolis and go for these cities here. Take that little corner for myself. Tail Cop does not buy coal. Interesting play. That tells me he plans to build to three this turn. So I get coal at a halfway decent price for being stuck at the top of the turn order. So, sure. And there's Mastaba going to Cincinnati as expected to threaten the East Coast. While also locking up Knoxville for him. That's what makes it a little, a little bit better than Detroit, is being the sole connection in Knoxville. And Tail Cop, hmm. He might have been thinking of a Detroit Cincinnati build, although I don't know why he thought he'd be able to get both of those. Mastaba was so obviously going to build Detroit or Cincinnati. Tail Cop doesn't build. Very interesting play. So he's really gunning for the turn order here. That's what he's trying to do. Well, I'm still not going to build. I will take uh, second from bottom in the turn order, which I'm still okay with. I mean. People are not going to buy any of these plants. I mean, this is not a turn you care too much about going bottom for. Thirty-three comes in, not changing anything at the moment, and we're all going to pass on this junk. Now the market opens up a little bit. 25. Oh, only taking one coal. Okay, sure. I have no reason to buy extra resources because I'm definitely going to the bottom this turn. Tail Cop has to build now. Tail Cop should definitely build Detroit, although arguably Washington could be safer. Washington would be the safer pick since Mastaba could very likely jump into Washington if Tail Cop doesn't take it now. run the eight plant for three turns it's not 
the most ideal thing in the world, but it's fine when you have a chance at a big plant later. Sure. Not, I'm really not sure why Tail Cop didn't build last turn. You make a little, you make less money, and this was not a turn where turn order was going to help you because there were no plants worth buying at all. Tail Cop's still sticking to one. Interesting. Okay. He's just buying up all this coal and not using it. Sure. Come to think of it, Tailcop's probably making more money than me per turn because if I'm paying 12 or 13 to power two cities and he's paying zero to power one city, he actually makes more money than me because I only make an extra $11 with that second city I power compared to him. So there is a decent argument for it in that sense. I don't know though. Mastaba should go for Detroit now. You might as well build a three. Oh. Okay, yeah, building four cities. Yeah, Masaba's going to build a three, and I think he'll go Detroit now. Because that gives him, you know, connection to Buffalo, which is a which itself has a direct connection to the really cheap part of the East Coast. All the way at the end there. So Mastaba, I expect, will build Detroit now. Yep, obvious play, with Mastaba leaving it open. You could have argued for a jump into Washington, but I think this is... This is fine, too. Still a pretty good number of plants lower than... A little more than 40% of the plants left in the deck would block 25. Some of them would be pretty good in their own right, though. I do feel like for me right now, this might be a better fit than 25, because it's going to be hard for me to pay for the plant, buy coal, and, and build two cities this turn with 25 there. Like, for how expensive I expect 25 to be, it's not going to fit great with my plans currently. I would not be able to build a 5 with it anyway. So I'm thinking about bidding on this here. Weird as it may seem. I'll do this. I think this fits better with my current... Uh, the current growth I can pull off this turn. That's why I'm going to do this. Well, better plant than 22, though. That's a little annoying. Better, cheaper plant. I expect nobody's going to bid on this. Even though it should. This should be bid on, I think. Because think about it. Only one person can get 25. And if you didn't end up winning 25, don't you wish you would have had 18 at cost, most likely? I think Minneapolis and Memphis is my call here. Okay, Mastaba bids on this. That's good. Of course, the uh, most experienced player left in this auction is the one who bids for 18. Good call. Uh, I'm afraid no one else is going to fight him on it. It should be bid up to a similar price as 22, but it's not going to happen. People have their eyes on that 25, man. I still think 18 deserves a little more bidding, though. Ooh, is Tail Cop really going to get the God Drop again? Is Tail Cop really going to get the God Drop again? Uh, he's, oh no, that, wow, Thunder Rift passes. 
Okay. Okay, he does not risk that there. And it would have dropped, too. That would have been game over. So imagine second game in a row, Tail Cap getting 25 at cost. And at least, like, 25 didn't come out yet, so I'll be in a position to bid for it on the next turn now. I'm okay with uh, this situation. I do think I need Memphis, though. There's Tail Cap. Okay. I build Minneapolis for sure. The question now is whether I get Memphis or Dulleth. And I do think the answer kind of has to be, what? Memphis? I think. Yeah, I think I do that. I think currently Masta would be the favorite in the game at this point because of cheap 18. Which is why I wanted to block. I want to try to block his buildings some. And we know 40 is going to go under the neck. Next turn, I'll be in a position to actually bid for the 25 here. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to be the one who's likely to win this plant, though. Yeah, I'm not paying 50 for this shit. Fuck out of here with that. Tail Cop coming out with a monster bid. I think this is clearly overpaying for it. I wouldn't go beyond low 40s, maybe 45 for this. Honestly, I doubt even 45. Okay. Tailcop likes to come out with an initial big bid to, to try to scare everybody else. That's what he likes to do. And one of the few remaining duds, in fact, comes in. I pass. Again. This is going to be tough because Thunder Rift's really going to get desperate and buy a plant now. 11 or 12, either one of those could work. Eleven probably fits better with Thunder Rift's current plants with him having fossil fuels and his other plants. 11 would work better for him, I think, but I don't know if he buys anything here. Thunder Rift, I think, is just kind of screwed regardless. I might be able to build to seven if Mastaba doesn't do anything, but oh, there we go. And Mastaba should get twenty-eight now. I guess that was the I guess that's why twelve might have been better than eleven because of the high chance of twenty-eight dropping. I did I forgot about that part in my analysis. There, silly me. Twelve was probably better given that fact. That being said, Mastaba might not buy a plant this turn. Yeah, likely he could want to just build to five with the plants he has now. 
Punish fossil fuels a little bit. With 25 in the game, you want to drive up coal now. Yep. This is an easy call. 24 is going to be a pretty good plant come next turn. I think in this situation, if at all possible, I'd like to build to 7. Thunder Rift, actually, Thunder Rift is the one who needs to build to 7 if, uh, if they have the money. They're the most desperately need of moving the market. And if you, if you build to 7 this turn, you remove the 7. And also by triggering step 2, you remove the 12 as well. So you clear two bad plants out of the market. If you triggered step two now. Sadly, no, I'm not going to have, I mean, I'm not going to have the money to get to seven though, unfortunately. That sucks. Yeah, it's really going to suck. Yep, I saw that coming. Mastaba not building to six. Interesting. Could they just not afford it? I find that kind of hard to believe. Thunder Rift ops not to build. Okay. New Orleans is harmless for me to build at this point. Because I'm that's that's not going to change my spot in the turn order. I'll still be second from bottom here to Thunder Rift. I've been having to run eight too long, although it is, you know, kind of nice that it's out there to attack 25. Hey, 21. Okay, that's a good drop there. That's a very good drop for me right now. I could use that plant. I could use 21, and I could also use 24. Mastaba passes, which makes sense. Mastaba is not going to be in the hunt for another four capacity plant. 21, I don't think is worth the money at this point. I mean, in turn order part is nice, but... Oh, god damn it. Seriously, again, do me like this game. Hmm, we just need 19 now. I would even buy 16 at this point, but 19, ugh. Thunder Rift should buy like seven or 12. The, the, what I would, the play I would make here Coal is getting cheaper for me now, though. That's one nice thing. I don't have a good avenue to break the stall, though. Actually, Knoxville. 
I could jump into Knoxville. That'd be kind of whack, but it would also get me a little closer to East Coast for step two. Thunder Rift is not the player I need to attack here, so I don't feel like jumping into the Southwest. Okay. Okay. I think I have to do it now, though. I have so many connections to so many different places. I'm not too scared of getting blocked in step two. Teokov's paid a good amount of money for 25 and 21. I mean, that's a really good... He has a really good trio of plants to carry him to step 3 now. He won't need to buy any more plants for a while. Mastaba jumps all the way into Boston to power a 6 city this turn, which uh, I could see. I feel like I've had such weak plants for so long, I'm just not going to win. Having to run eight this long sucks. Fifty. Um, we do this now. Sure. I I have enough cities to actually use thirty plus my green plant already, so I'm okay with this. Thirty-four was a plan I missed earlier. Tail cop bidding this up too is a mistake. I would I would stay out of the auction of our tail cop here because I do think someone will buy twenty-four, and that's gonna really mess. That's gonna mess up thirty a good deal, especially since it's not cheap now. Let tail cop have this. I say. I say that's the move to make. Beautiful. Now, this is what I wanted to see right here. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Now, 32 being next on the market is going to reduce its value here, but it's actually more likely than not that 32 will not come next. Slightly more likely. More low plants left in the deck. We still have 16 lurking. We have 19, 20, 23, possibly 27, and 31. I think Tail Cop just screwed himself bidding on with the bidding on 21 and then 30 there. He's bought way too many plants and spent way too much money on them in too rapid succession. So he's not gonna have the money to really catch up. So I think Tail Cop is out of this game. And I think Thunder Rift has just had such bad plants for so long that they're out as well. It's it's me versus Mastaba, and Mastaba's the favorite right now. I'll pay 45 for this. The real pain would be if 32 comes next. Okay, never mind. I'm I'm okay with this. Mastaba likely did not want to see that. I'm just happy Mastaba's not going to get 32. Most likely. Thunder Rift, I think, will wait for the drop here. Bad drop, so... Ooh, this is... Now, this is beautiful, because Thunder Rift has to buy 24 now. Objectively, the best plan on here, and that's going to fuck with 30 pretty hard. Okay, so I think I came out of that auction well. Even paying close to 45 for the 26, I think I'd rather have that than 20 at cost, maybe. <laughs> Well, I don't know, because Tail Cop's probably not... Well, now nah, Tail Cop will probably still use 
25. He's not going to he's not going to want to use 30 for a little while because of Thunder Rift relying so heavily on 24 at this point. I don't know though. Maybe maybe 20 turns out to be a better value than I expect. It's just 25 also being in the game is not great news for it. But even still, it's a, a lot better than a couple of the other plants that could have dropped there. So I do think Mastab is still the favorite in this game. Take all the $4 oil here. We'll do that. Thunder Rift does have a lower numbered plant than me and will likely stay lower in the turn order, so. Yep. Okay, building a Chicago, that's fine. I wasn't gonna take Chicago anyway because I have connections farther east. And plus, I'm already past Chicago into that little island up there. So, Chicago was actually not important for me with the way my builds went. I'm getting Cincinnati here. Unless Mosta. Well, no, Mosta was going to build whatever the. Yeah, Masaba's just so far ahead of me on money, has better plants, better everything. I think he's just winning this game. Coal is going to get more expensive, though. So there's that. I'll actually use the 8 this turn again. Teo Cop's still not going to use trash yet, which makes sense. He's still going to he's going to build to nine this turn, and he'll start using trash come next turn. Thunder Rift should continue to buy extra trash though, because I expect Teo Cop will use trash in the next turn. So yeah, I would I would have bought extra trash. Although no, because Teo Cop's going to build above Thunder. Thunder doesn't have a reason to build right now, whereas I sure do. 33, 34, 39, 39 is there, 39 is there, so 31 has been drawn also, uh, yeah, <laughs>
Yeah, we need to attack Cole from Ostaba as much as possible. That's the only way he can lose this game is Cole Prices taking him out of the running. That's why I'm keeping 8 around a little longer to do my part there. Thunder Rift and Tail Cop I still think are just dead regardless. Okay. I want to block Mastaba. So that means Oklahoma City is my best option now. Twenty six plus twenty two plus eight is not really the efficient combo you want to run going into step three. Thirty one stays on. Ooh, interesting. That is bad news for Mastaba. He can't touch this plant. Like like Mastaba shouldn't even click thirty one. I think. Well, Thunder Rift needs it though. I do think Thunder Rift likely needs thirty one. But we're getting close to step three here. Really, really close. I don't, oh no, I, oh no, 19 is in there. So step three card will actually come next, which means we're gonna have 32 and then 29 coming on. And I don't have enough money to want those plants. Yep. Mastaba absolutely makes the correct play passing there. Being stuck at the top of the turn order two, you can't risk getting stuck with both 20 and 31. That's like the one way Mastaba could, could lose right now, so he definitely did the right thing passing. And I shall also pass because the step three card is coming next. I assume Thunder Rift's just going to buy 31, right? Like, if Thunder Rift buys any plant at all here, it's going to bring uh, the Step 3 building, so the third spots in the cities will open up. Yep. 31 is expected. I'm really glad to see that plant being bought because it's going to screw over both Teokop and Mastaba. And it's still not going to win the game for Thunder Rift. I think me just stay hanging back, staying out of the cold vortex is uh, what will do best for me. And I still need to stay low in the turn order because these plants on here right now are not good. Oh yeah. Do I do it? Call me crazy, but I'm actually going to run Cole on the eight. Stupid as that is. I mean the yeah, on the eight. Stupid as that is, I'm actually gonna do this. Again, because it targets literally everybody else in the game has an endgame coal plant, except for me. Tail cop not buying coal is interesting. I might have bought one just to stick on the 25 for safety.
Notice how much better I'm feeling about my 26 value compared to these other plants. I feel like I could potentially get back in, into this game, believe it or not, if I play the end game correctly. And I think using the 8 to attack Cole here, like, I lose money because I spent, how much was it, 21? I spent 21 bucks to power an extra two cities. 16. I spent 21 to power 16. So I, in a sense, I cost myself $5, but in terms of my damage to the other players, it's going to add up to more than five bucks and to attack like, you know, all, like all my competition in this game. So that's why I decided to burn coal in the eight. It's going to make turn order extra important too. 36 is not in this game. Actually, nor is 38. So that makes me really like having a five capacity plant because I can get to 16 easily without having to pay for a seven capacity plant because there's only one seven capacity plant in this entire game. I mean, I do still think Mastaba is going to win, but me having the turn order advantage on Mastaba could potentially swing things in my favor. I think I'm not out of this game just yet. I just got to take bottom in the turn order and do good things with it. Last of not building makes me very happy. And there's 37 too, uh, not the greatest spot for Teo and Masta here. Well, Teo Cop gets a good plant with 32. Let's see what else is in the game here. Not a whole lot in the way of great six, cap six capacity plants. Just 40? So I think I might actually bid for the 32 here. I might bid for this. Thirty-nine isn't as ridiculous as usual, although it's still a really great plant right now. And Mastaba bids for thirty-two, which I think is the correct call. Definitely, I'll bid for it too. These players at the top don't have as much time to wait for a plant. They should still bid this. I like the turn order with 32 also. That's another thing. Now I'll pass. This is interesting now. Thunder Rift needs to buy a five. Thunder Rift should buy a 44. Tail Cop should pass on plants this turn. Tailcop could act, like I thought Tailcop was dead earlier because of how much he paid for plants, but he could actually make a comeback here with the plants he has on this. His problem though is lacking coal on the 25. That's going to be an issue for him. Please buy something, Thunder Rift. You gotta buy something, man. You gotta buy something here. Though if you don't, I think I might lean 34 here. Well, no, okay, there it is. Yeah, pass for sure. Booyah, all right, I'll take that. All right, well, I definitely made out big time in this auction.
Well, we know we're buying for oil right the hell now. So builds. So my goal is block Mastaba and Teocop as much as possible. This means I build into the Mid-South and then the Southwest. I think that's what I do here. Forty-six coming after. Okay. This is what's left. Forty-six being there is lucky because now I should be guaranteed to get some sort of safe plant. Like forty-two is the only plant left in the whole deck that's unsafe for me now. Yeah, Mastaba not, did not get stuck with the most efficient plants here. Tailcop might come back and win over Masta, actually. I think now is the time for me to just build. 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 Mastaba and Teocop are my competitors. They're the players I need to block. Also, look at how quickly oil evaporated, too. Now you see why I bought four oil when I got the chance, when it was still cheap. Really lucky I had the exact amount of money needed to make that build. My only concern is Teocop potentially building and ending the game on this turn. Very surprised Mastaba didn't buy out coal on Teocop too. Teocop only had one coal on 25 before. Thirty's turning out to be a pretty good value, though. Next turn, I end the game one way or another. In fact, next turn, with the amount of money I have, I'm going to make 13 this turn, right? 124. I can I can easily uh, get the 46 and contend for uh, 18 cities. I can bid that up a little bit and, uh, and do that. Because I have decently cheap builds available to me. Last of a building to 15 is good. It means uh, Tail Cop's not going to end the game now. I'm gonna do that now. Gonna do that. Gonna do that thing. So. Tail Cop clearly just needs to stay um, where he's at in the turn order. Just run 30 and 21. Keep your two coal on 25 to be safe and then uh, make a move on the next turn. 
That 50 at cost drop was huge for me. That's what I'm talking about when I say my turn order advantage for Mastaba could potentially get me back in this game. Yeah, I don't think Tailcap's gonna win. Because Tailcap's builds are got blocked pretty hard. Mastaba is still the biggest threat in this game. It's between me and Mastaba, I think. And ultimately I do think it's gonna be Mastaba winning, but I'll do my best. Really, really liking the how long I was using the eight to attack Cole there though. I think that helps. That helped quite a bit. Believe it or not. Well, we know I'm putting 46 up for bid. Because that's... 35, one of the few duds left. This is a dangerous spot for me now. Because... I could potentially have 42 appear. Which would not be good for me. Mastaba, I imagine, is doing the math to get to 18. Yep. I build last, which makes the math really tricky. I can still bid. I can bid this past 50. I mean, I'm willing to like pay a little bit of an extra premium for this plant because if I pass on this and 42 appears next, I'm gonna be screwed. I can't buy 42, Cole's gonna get bought out on me. God damn it. God damn it. Well, this is borderline for me. Whether I can get to 18 or not. Nice thing is I got the only 7 capacity plant. Yeah, we, there's going to be bidding for 39 now. All these people need 39. Except Thunderrift, who apparently doesn't know the situation right now. 39 is by far the best plant left in this game. There's 39, 40, and then ugly-ass 42. Those are the remaining plants here that can power 6. Alright, I'm glad Mastaba gets 39. Tailcop getting stuck with ugly-ass 42. Like, Tailcop can't buy 42. For sure. He will buy it though. He will risk. Oh, you know what? He, he might replace 25 with it, which would not be good news. Tailcop's going to risk it. Tailcop's going to hope he gets all four of the remaining coal in the resource market right now. 
basically right now, this is really, really borderline. This is really borderline for me to reach. So, Mastaba obviously can't buy extra resources. Holy shit, I'm guaranteed to win now. I'm gonna get 18. Yeah, I'm letting Mastaba know. Mastaba bid me well to my limit. Like, holy shit, how the hell am I going to win this game? I don't know how, but I am. Cheapest cities left for me would be San Francisco is 24 and Detroit is 24. So, $4 left. Wow, I did not expect to win this game. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was so screwed throughout this game, given how long I was running the eight. Holy shit, I was shocked I won this. Masaba, I think, just flat out gave up too early on 46. I think if he'd bid 46 a little bit longer, he would have gotten it and he would have won. All right, I'm going to go out on a high note with that one. That was a game I did not expect to win at all. So with that, I will say uh, see y'all later. Uh, jury duty is finally done for me. Hooray. But tomorrow I have my arcade marathon. Tomorrow and Sunday I'll be playing games, arcade games, trying to get one credit clears on them for the Coin-Op Classic on Retro Gaming Live TV. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. Thank you and good night.